Fine. So we have already seen the uh, draw tools and uh, modification tools as well as the dimension tools. In this video, we will see about uh, the, what are the constraints are available in design modeler. Okay. So first, uh, let us uh, turn my view into isometric to a normal view and uh, click on the plane. So create a new sketch. A new sketch will be added over here. So after that, go to the sketching option and uh, first of all i need to create a one rectangle and uh, circles yeah okay so let's go to the construction option first we have an option called fixed so uh, a fix option is used to fix a certain components so a fix means you cannot move the particular geometry anywhere so that component is uh, fixed at a particular coordinate system so if you want to fix this line so i can say this line is fixed that particular line should be turned into a black color so that means that line cannot be uh, modified uh, the length cannot be changed the position cannot be changed so that is called fixed so you can also fix a particular point or else you can fix a whole element itself so whenever you need a fix you can use that uh, fix option or else uh, you can uh, you cannot uh, disable this option okay and the next option is horizontal uh, whenever you want to make a certain lines into a horizontal you can use a horizontal for example if i have a line so which is inclined in a search, uh, search direction so i want to make this line as a horizontal one constraints horizontal so make this line as a horizontal now this line is made as a horizontal one if you want to make it as a vertical vertical so if i say vertical this line is turned into a vertical line okay so look at but you can't uh, give an another constraint to the same line so already i have assigned a constraint that is called horizontal so if i assign the vertical so it cannot be vertical because uh, already we have a constraint that is called horizontal okay and uh, next thing is called perpendicular line so what is the perpendicular relation so whenever if i have a polyline so which is having like this so it is uh, which having a certain so i need a open end having a certain angles over here so i want to make it as a, a perpendicular so that is called a 90 degree constraints and go to perpendicular select the two segments this is my first segment and second segment now the line two lines are in a perpendicular manner okay fine and also i want to make this line segment as a horizontal one go to horizontal select this line segment now it is this line is horizontal and this line is perpendicular to this line segment fine and the next option is tangential so for that i need a circle or else i can have a line so i have a line over here so i want to make this line uh, which is tangential to the circle go to the constraint select the uh, tangential option it prompts me to select the circle as well as the line segment now the circle is tangential to this line segment so the only uh, need is i need to extend this line so if i extend this line uh, it obviously tangential to the particular circle so whenever you need a tangential option you can use this uh, options okay so that is called a tangential and uh, one more option we have that is called coincide uh, how it actually works right so i have a circle over here so i need a circle yes i have a circle here so i want to coincide the particular uh, circle point to this point so go to constraint and say uh, coincide this point to this point okay now the line is moved towards this point okay uh, this is called coincide if you want to coincide the circle to this point coincide this point and to this point okay now the circle is moved towards this point because this uh, square cannot be moved since we have fixed one side of a uh, rectangle okay so that is why the circle is moved towards the uh, square or rectangle fine and we have an another option called midpoint how it actually works uh, if i have a line like this it's a horizontal line so now and also i have a vertical line so when i go to uh, constraints and say midpoint 
So I want to assign this point to this midpoint. What I will do is I just select this point and just select this line segment. This line, uh, entire line is moved towards its center point. So that is called midpoint option. Or else, uh, if I have a circle over here, so I can make a circle over from here. So I want to make this circle uh, center point to be aligned on this line uh, midpoint. Okay, so this line having a midpoint, so somewhere around here. So I want to make the center point uh, coincide with this uh, midpoint. So what I will do is constraints. Uh, midpoint option select the midpoint and select the line segment now the circle will be moved towards the midpoint of the line segment okay and how the symmetry options will works maybe i have a rectangle fine i have a rectangle but i want to make this uh, rectangle which is symmetry along this axis i can use the symmetry option go to symmetry and we have an option called symmetry so it prompts me to select two sides so this is my first one and this is my second side and i need to select the mid symmetry line so this is my mid symmetry line okay so i have selected a long selection so what i will do is undo fine so again i'm going to select the symmetry so this is my symmetry line and this is my first line and this is my second line okay now it is symmetry along the center line so if i uh, measure the length it cannot be changed as the original length see uh, let us try it in our another way so first i will uh, mark the dimension so dimension general dimension its uh, length should be 80 so i can say 80 and now i go to constraints and say symmetry so this is my symmetry line and this is my one side and this is my other side now it is symmetry along the center axis fine okay so and the next option is parallel so you guys are already know that uh, whenever we have a two lines or else uh, if i have a line segment so which is somewhere around here so i want to make this line which is parallel to this line so go to constraint we have an option called uh, parallel so just select parallel and uh, this line and this line so now it is uh, this line should be exactly parallel to this line so since we apply a constraint called uh, parallel okay so the next option is called concentric so draw i need a circle okay so i have a circle over here some radius and i want to make this circle which is concentric to the circle so go to constraints and uh, select const uh, concentric select the circle and the circle now the two circles will be concentric a concentric means these two circles are sharing the center points at a same point so that is called concentric and if you want to make a equal radius i want to make this uh, this circle and this circle as a same radius right so now this circle will be uh, circle radius will be increased according to this uh, radius since we apply a uh, equal radius command to this two circles so if you want to use this command you can use it also and also we have an option called equal length i want to make this uh, two lines as a same length so i first select this line because i need this length for this line and select this line okay now this line length will be increased since we uh, since i selected this line as a first one so if i select this line as a first one this length will be replicated in this line segment okay so whatever the segment we you selected so that length will be or that radius will be reflected in the corresponding options you have selected over there fine and the next option is called equal distance so whenever i have a rectangle so i need to make it as a uh, square so i have a rectangle so i need to make it as a square so i can apply a equal uh, distance option so equal distance I need to select the three segments one and two and three and four okay now it does uh, shows me as a overly defined sketches so what I will do is I just uh, okay fine delete this segment and uh, draw a line from here to here after that uh, I go to uh, 
okay sorry constraints so first in uh, equal distance so this is my first segment and this is my second segment so here we have a distance and i selected this and this now it is converted into a square so all the distance should be equal okay so that is called equal distance and one more options we have that is called auto constraint option so whenever we use the auto constraint option so we don't need to apply a certain constraints that is coincide or concentric or parallel perpendicular so whatever the geometry we make after giving the dimensions i need to uh, make it as a fully defined sketch you can just go to uh, click on the auto constraints it will be uh, added the uh, remaining uh, options like concentric coincide which is depend upon our uh, geometry styles okay so you can also use the auto constraint option in your geometry fine so that is all about for the video so hope you will like the video and uh, if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so see you on next video